Where does Grand Empress Shekzir lay out to get a tan? On the Garrel Lawn. Dude, there like, you know what's kind of funny and sad at the same time? You're lying. Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> you should have asked that. Was that was good. Okay. This week we killed shit. Since Will the Emperor was like a two-week affair, I was personally looking forward to having a bit of an easier progression experience. It was actually a pretty good week. This is bad. Out of the chest, fuck hole. This week we were able to kill Garalon on heroic mode. This fight is like kind of gimmicky and you know it's got weird leg things and anytime you mention legs then terrible horrible memories of Lord Ryan kind of come up. I must say so far he is my favorite fight to heal this tier. We saw some real good progression with some really good um, consecutive attempts of improving. And as a Fury Warrior personally this fight is fucking awesome because our cleave is fucking silly. Ah oh, man, I ranked rather well on that boss fight, and I topped the healing meters. Big numbers all over the place. You made a terrible, awful joke <laughs> in Go Chat, and it's all your fault. Oh, I'm so proud of him. It is all your fault. It's all your fault. Are you gonna share it? It Just was, and I like quote: that. "Velocity said rage over already." Where the fuck did the time go? And Sark goes, he's here, group five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just time. You're just you're just fired time. Garelon progression was really shitty. Let's just say that. Frustrations were a little high on Garelon because we were low on DPS for a bit. And then of course we did do like our half an hour regressing thing, because that's what we're good at, is just fucking dying at 70% for no fucking reason. Where it's like, yo, we've been doing great, but let's just slow it down, because we may not want to be too good at this game. But, you know, it was the same story as it's been since Rash stopped raid leading, is that long pauses and long gaps in silence and not really much communication from the officers and not much is actually... Not much productive conversation is happening. The Berserk Timer wasn't too much of a big deal for us during this progression kind of experience. The bigger issue we we came in was doing the Pheromone Kiting. So for the first like 60 or 70% of the boss's health, you have to basically have one person with Pheromones kite around the outside of the uh, circle and the boss chases them. And what'll happen is that when you pass it off, um, you have to be in close proximity to each other. So it's kind of like future side heroic mode. These are notoriously not very good in a game like World of Warcraft, where like you know there's lag issues, and lots of people are connected in different places. Come to me, come to me. Uh, wipe, wipe, wipe. Beware. Uh, we finally killed it. Um, it was actually pretty clean. Like once we were able to get him to push him at like 33 percent, we. It just becomes such an easy fight, like tank and spank. Except for at the very end when the person with pheromones died, everyone's like, Holy fucking shit, man! So I go pick up pheromones! And then it's like, it, it actually didn't matter because the boss died. Yeah. 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 down, Yeah. down. Somebody Yeah. 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 Can't I'm dead! Just kill him. It's fine. Jesus Christ. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Or you can kill it, that's cool too. It's kind of like anticlimactic. We're going to finish clearing this and then we are going to win. Uh, and I suppose if I like you guys enough, I'll heal. And then we'll kill another boss while I'm healing. Woo! Which, seriously, if I have to heal next week, by the way, I'm not going to be happy. And <laughs> it may actually lead to me quitting the game. And then Windlord was after that, which we killed pretty quickly. Uh, I don't like him as much because healing that on Arrestor Shaman is way less fun than healing Garalon. If you don't Wait, kill this boss people. tonight, I'm gonna stab every one of you. Mm. Third boss in a row I have to heal. 
So while we're on the topic of big numbers, here comes the Windlord encounter. And this one on Heroic, you do even more DPS than on Normal Mode. The changes are that there are ad waves that keep respawning, and every time one wave dies, the boss gets a 600% damage buff. So every DPS class's dream is this encounter. Since we need um, Sammy's ridiculous AE, Reki, you have to go into... It's not the kitchen because it's tanking, but... The anti-kitchen. The garage. The Wait, garage! Well, since, that works! Since, I like that, Ty. I was going to say, since there's two of them... Like. We, we could call, call it the bedroom, the bedroom but that would just be gay. But then, yeah. you know, since it's it big is crits, big crits, it's always gay. Now, this encounter has got interrupts and it's got like CC, so that's some stuff that doesn't get used too often. Sometimes, like it's kind of nice to like be able to like brush off that dust and kind of use those skills again. Yeah, don't pull a rash, guys. I've hit. One. At least I knew what I hit. Velocity hits two back to back, and he's like, "Dude, don't fucking hit those." <laughs> Who the fuck is even more? Like, well, velocity, so velocity speaks in the third person <laughs> without knowing it. That's. I mean, come on. During this encounter, our learning curve was pretty quick. I mean, it was another kind of fight where all we needed to do was get the proper amount of, you know, like healers online and get the uh, DPS in there, get used to it. I, like I knew it was easy, but that was really easy. I think he was the easiest one in Heart of Fear. He was probably easier than Spirit Kings, too. Yeah! Good job, man. Good job. Good job. We're doing pretty good. We're, do we're doing pretty good. I'm pretty excited. I know you can't see it, but I'm pumped. I'm saying, you know, if we can't make a decision, we should just give it to Suzu, and then you guys can bribe me for it if you want it with blowjobs. I would work. I am I am all for a a move to a BJDKP system. <laughs>